All right, y'all, how's it going? Silent E, TCG here. We're back again <clears throat> with another deck profile on my current deck I'm using this week. Uh, of course, just got in the uh, EB01 uh, Memorial set. So we definitely went on ahead with that and used Leader from that set. It's only three of them, so <laughs> definitely had to, you know, pick and choose who I would use the night of right away or day of right away. Starting off. And to my surprise, I actually enjoyed the leader the most. I um, was hoping it would be, I mean, I was hoping I would do better, you know, do a little bit, do a little something. But it actually wasn't too bad. And we are, we're on ahead with um, Blue, Purple, Hainable. And man, he was definitely like fire today. Like really good. And I'm, I'm just glad I tried him out to, to get him on the world, you know. So we'll definitely get with the profile and show y'all what I've been using. As always, let me know what y'all think. Critique the deck. Click, uh, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let me know what y'all uh, input on. Got the um, alt art here, of course. I pulled it out of my box. Um, check out the earlier video, box opening. Definitely was glad for that. <laughs> you can kind of can't turn really to see the background too much, but Saudi kind of. I mean, uh, Saudi Magellan and the. Uh, the others, <laughs> the others, all the impel down jailer people. So definitely a nice leader. Um, very good in all aspect. But like I said, the deck was definitely surprising. It even surprised me. Um, like I said, I did very well with it so far. And I'm going to continue to work with it. You know, I, I think I like this a lot. So we'll see how it go. Um, you know, I know we got the cycles of either anything black and blue is still uh, running around rampant. But I think it's still fun to use. But all right, let's start off. We got Hainable here. Um, of course, your one call starter, searcher. Just getting the impel down card, blue or purple. Doesn't matter. So very good starting off. Um, you can go first or second. I actually don't matter. It don't matter to me what happens, but I think second's better. Get the extra card, and you can also ramp up. <laughs> you can ramp up on your first turn. So technically second is going better. Is better off. But it depends what they're what you're up against because I kind of want to attack if need be, attack early, get damage down to further the game state. But high level searcher of the deck, um, we got Prince and Bellet, uh, just a 2k. Like I said, if you're going second, play him, bounce him out of hand, and you get an active dawn. So very strong to have. Um, you need two or more to proc your end fate and your any of your turn ability. So it's very great. Um, definitely, you know, if I'm forced to go first, it's fine. If I go second, even better. Uh, two or uh, four dominoes, another two K. You probably will bounce the hand early if you see it. Why not? Um, be a good blocker too. That's all she's there for. I am running the Von Kauf in the starter deck. The three costs. Uh, on play, you can check the top card of your deck if you're lucky, and it's one of these two costs. You can play it. So, <laughs> cheat out a blocker or a 2k, and then you can still do the effect regardless if you hit or miss, and return to hand, and still get it done. So, very good in that aspect. Uh, for a little Saudi, just a great card. You will, the MVP of the deck for sure, you will be bouncing her back to hand every time. But you play her for three, cheat out, cheat out a Jailer Beast, and then return to hand for a 2k or a replay. For, for the next turn so she's very good uh next we got three of the chihuahua um just three um no counter unfortunately i really thought it did have counter but nope but our uh, rush and then of course on ko you get arrested on they all the beast has that but maybe one but we are running into four koala um the blocker of the deck so i usually block right away so i can get my dawn up quick as possible by turn three you should be at eight if not seven all things considered. Um, but there's that. You got the zebra, just two. Um, your banish <laughs> can come up, but not too often. Make some burn encounters at least. And then two Minotaur uh, for double attack. Uh, only you don't use the rhino because he has no counter either, but you're not really want to draw too much anyway. So I decided to go with the ones with the counter other than the Chihuahua. But all of them, when they get KO'd, you get arrested on. So ramp up even quicker. Um, I've seen this card used before, but I decided to give it a try. 
just uh maybe you can KO a two or less if need be if you minus but I don't really minus too much in here um it can come up but normally it's just a 2k counter I don't think they have that much uh impel down support so I just decided to put something in there uh four kid blocker um definitely great to have in case you do minus you get a dom back um and then get a blocker of course can't go wrong with that you're only at four life so you got to know when to block sometime uh same thing with queen here minus one draw two trash one good blocker uh one kaido in the nine drop can close out the games uh ko with a blocker if you can get a rush they don't see it coming <laughs> you know and probably my my mvp for sure is the blue 10 cost kaido because once you're at 10 dawn you need to bring out something quick and right away and this is probably what i would do i might put him to four we'll see but three's been fine. I don't want to have too many um, early, but sometimes not even seeing enough back to back kind of makes me worry. But <clears throat> but definitely a good boss card. Bouncing an eight and less and three or less back to hand is really good. I mean, you can bounce your own three or less, but the eight is usually for your opponent's side. But it also got the uh, two of the blue call, uh, blue other ten cost Kaido the draw four if you have opponent three or less life. Definitely a great card to have. Drawing four is good, and he established a big body. I would do I do I do this first, and then I can bring this out the next turn or whatever, just to get the value out of it. And I am using one of the, of the uh, Luffy. Maybe I can close out a game um, if I know they have no hand or zero life. Um, after you've done a couple swings with the Kaidos here, just bring out Luffy. Um, make sure they're tapped out, <laughs> and. You know, get a good 12 in at you to add them if you can. So there's that, you know, can't go wrong with that at all. Um, another new card, we got the Champion Rifle. This card is very sneaky. Um, I've definitely had tricked a lot of people into attacking, even with their blockers, because they think they got game. But now that the blocker is rested, I can now return a blocker or Another threat that they were trying to lethal me with back to hand because your opponent is forced to return a active character back to hand. They can choose, but if they were trying to go for game, then <laughs> their choice is unlimited at that point. But a very good card. I, I I think I might run three, but four is fine. And we got the one last breath. Um, just if need be, four K counter. I might not use this. Uh, I don't know. I have to see. But for now, it's been fine. I don't think I. Don't like it or nothing. I don't hate it, but <clears throat> like if I had maybe another character to put in, I probably would replace it. Um, but usually you are with one open dawn, especially early. So it just depends how you how you fare. But all in all, like I said, the deck was pretty good. It definitely took me by surprise and took everybody by surprise. So I like it a lot. So you know, definitely local level deck quite sure on that but nonetheless definitely was fun to use and try out especially off the after we just get in this ebo one set release so you know i'm glad i put it together and made, made it work out but let me know what y'all think about it as always um we'll, we'll, we'll have more deck profiles coming i got the other two leaders to do all to show off and critique and then we still got the set of opl6 to finish up so Definitely a lot on the table, but we'll definitely have it all done before OPL 7 comes out for sure. Or if not, close to it. <clears throat> so bear with me, y'all. I know it's been a minute and it's going to be a while, but we're, we're getting there. <laughs> it's a lot of testing to do, a lot of <coughs> prepar uh, preparations to do. But y'all let me know. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all on the next one. As always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. Peace out.